Oh, uh, we have the black heat. <laughs> 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 I was not ready for that. <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, hey, this is Justin from Tooth Grinder. I'm Wills, also from Tooth Grinder. And what are we supposed to say? <laughs> You're watching You're the watching belly. The belly. The the belly. belly. All right. You're rubbing Hi. the belly. Hi, this is Justin from Tooth Grinder. And Wills from Tooth Grinder. And you're watching the belly. Hey, it's Dave from the Belly, and we're at the Plus Room tonight in Phoenix, Arizona, with Wills and Justin. How are you doing? This is Tooth Grinder. What's going on? on? Hey, welcome back to Phoenix. How are things going? Very good, very good. It's actually, the temperature's nice. Not a cloud in the sky. Feels good. <laughs> Perfect time of year. You just caught the breaking temperature. Exactly. Good. How about you? That's funny they say that we caught a good time, because usually it's like, oh man, you guys missed it. It was crazy nice yesterday. It's terrible today. It was only 110. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, all right, great, sweet. We no, no, it's perfect. Nice. You got a new album coming out. Yes. I Am. Talk a little bit about the record. Let's start. Uh, I Am, it's, uh, it's a way more positive record than the records we've done in the past. Um, I think it's just kind of giving people a little bit of hope and uh, courage to uh, fulfill their dreams. And uh, you know, put away the negative stuff. Uh, our last two records, you know, there was a lot of anger, a lot of angst, a lot of sadness, and there's still a little bit on there. I mean, we're a metal band, so there's always going to be a little aggressive energy. But uh, I think overall, we tried to bring a little bit more of a positive message. Right Aggression with a smile. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Aggression with a smile. Yep. You can see it on my face on stage. Yeah. I'm smiling more. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's better than having an album cover that says, take that fucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. <laughs> I bet that would sell, honestly. I'm not going to lie. So. <laughs> so talk a little bit about the record coming together, writing, and all that. It was it was really fun. I, I felt like the last record, it, it came natural, you know, but I felt like this record came super natural. It just Each song kind of just created itself. Everyone was like, that's great, that's awesome. And it's just boom, boom, boom. Even when we were in the studio picking the songs, this and that, it all just like... It all turned out really well. So. And now, have you met our new uh, merch guy? New merch guy! Hey, merch guy! <laughs> 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 merch guy. Trying, to, trying to photobomb it. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, no, I, I'm happy. And like what, what he was saying with, with like even the lyrics being a little more uplifting, I think this, the sonic tone of the music feels uplifting. You know, I, I, it just matches his lyrics in a way. I don't know if you really planned that going in. It just kind of worked nah. that way, you know? See, that that was my question. Preconceived yeah. notions. You no, guys have it, an idea? I, never do. I think we just ride the train, and wherever it stops, we're like, this place is cool, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. So who initiates the song? Who starts the, uh, the actual song itself? Well, usually it starts with, I mean, it's always different, but usually it starts with, like, drums and a rhythm guitar, and, like, we just kind of build from there. So, like, Will's and, like, one of the string guys will sit down and, you know, write out a foundation. And then, um, depending on really what song, this is a general overview. Um, depending on what song it is, I'll get a foundation of the song, some drums, bass, guitar. I'll freestyle over the song. Um, then I kind of uh, usually write the lyrics a little bit out of the studio. The majority of it in the studio, I feel like um, for myself, when I'm in a studio environment, it's when I get the most creative. Um, when you're freestyling, you're just looking for that melody, right? Exactly. I'll freestyle, I look for a melody, I look for a rhythm, and then I actually look for like consonants and vowels too. That like I like. So like if there's like something, the uh, easiest thing to explain is like usually if there's a heavy part that comes in, I love the way words sound with the letter R. <laughs> on like when a breakdown comes in or something it. heavy, because you get this like almost literal roar. Like a, and so like, notice of my songs you'll probably hear a word that starts with the letter R um, but I think that's I mean I think that's all part of the art form is kind of like taking your melody your rhythm and your lyrics and then having a dance with them essentially yeah string them all you together know. and see the soup that you make yeah, yeah, yeah. that's excellent you guys just put out a video well at the time we're doing the interview a couple days ago you got a new single coming out talk about the, the video the single yeah um, I, I mean it, it's pretty cool so last record we didn't really do too many 
video is where we were performing the song, you know, and, and this this album we decided, well, let's just let's go completely different. So the first one was a performance, the second one was a performance, and it's just fun, you know, it's like, it gets the fans seeing what we look like in like our, our stage clothes and stuff like that, and we kind of just kept that, that theme going. I really dig it. You know, I think the, the tone, like the colors of it really fit the song. The first one was red um, and black and that kind of fit the album so we kind of wanted to let people know like those were the album colors. The next one was kind of, my favorite hurt was dark. It was like yellows and oranges and, and kind of more moody and along that line. And yeah, they've just been really cool, you know? And like we actually filmed the first I Am, the music video, me and him did it, which was a pretty ridiculous undertaking that we totally stepped into and we're like, yeah, we got this. And we like started recording. We were like, this is going to be nuts. Yeah. And then the terror yeah. starts. Oh, yeah. God. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. So, but no, it was awesome. It was really cool to, to have that for us forever, you know. And it's, I don't know, I, I like it. I'm really enjoying the music videos. People seem to like them, you know. Well, I think it's cool. Everybody ties, you know, the videos, the music, the, the visual of it together. But you're going as deep as the colors and everything. And that's bizarre to me. That's fun. Artsy fartsy, you know. <laughs> but, okay, cool. You've been out on this tour now for a little bit, anyway. This, talk about how the tour is uh, going for everybody in the package. I mean, Lacuna Coil and you know all the race, all that together. Great show. Oh, I mean, the tour has been fun. I mean, we've toured with all that remains before, so they're great guys. Um, we've become really good friends with their uh, tour manager, who's also from Jersey. So like. He's always real nice to us and like hooks us up with an extra case of seltzer water. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shower here. It's there. all about the seltzer. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I particularly love touring in September and October. I think we all do. Uh, it's just the weather's great. We haven't had a rainy day yet. I'm not going wood, but um, it's just been really, really fun. Um, we went to White Sands National Monument yesterday in New Mexico. We haven't been there before. And, no, it's just been cool. Um, when the tour is up, we're actually hopping off this tour about a week or two early, and we're going to play on a cruise ship that's going out of LA called the Mega Cruise. That's with Megadeth and Anthrax and Testament, um, a bunch of other legendary bands, Suicidal Tendencies. So that's gonna be really cool. Like, there's a lot of, um, at least within myself, there's a lot of uh, anxiety or like. Um, fear of that you don't belong with all those people. You're going to be there with some heroes, maybe? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, like, it's going to be, but it's going to be a cool experience. We get along well with everyone. We're pretty chill, so it's going to be fun. Great. So what are, you, uh, what are we talking about in 2020? You guys are always on the road, and I'm betting you're going to still be out on the road. More I, I think you just answered that question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should be interviewing you. Um, yeah, no, definitely, <laughs> definitely hitting the road again. We're hoping maybe stretch our legs a little further around the uh, globe. We'll put it that way. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, exciting things I think in the future. So, you gonna put like paddle wheels on the bus or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we have oars in there and everything. So we're thinking about trying to cross the Atlantic. You know. So. For those at home that haven't seen the Tooth yeah. Grinder bus, it's it's pretty epic. It's pretty classic. I'll I'll try to take a shot and I'll include it in the video. <laughs> it is really cool to actually see these guys traveling the country. And that. Yeah. yeah. It's our little home, you know. That's all I got. Is there anything I missed? Uh, I don't think so. No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're, I think we're good. Yeah. All right. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you much. Yeah, you guys yeah. have a good set tonight. Thank you. Thank you.